<clears throat> well, yeah, hi kids, it's me, the Red Panther. The subnamulating oracle vortex of love. Strontium 90 Zen Viking Athletic Club presents another working man. <laughs> I guess it's me. I'm retired. But, uh, I'm working today. I used to be in uh, psychiatric rehab. I wasn't a patient. I was in management and uh, worked in a facility that uh, provided care for and therapy for mentally ill adults. Now, I'm retired. Uh, I also uh, did investigative work, um, Homeland Security. Uh, I was in the Navy, the Army, the National Guard, and the Army Reserve. Uh, but now, I also worked in gyms when I was younger. Uh, I guess I should say that. And I coached, coached wrestling. I'm a working man. Okay, this is part of the Working Man series. I should have started with me. But I started with, what, Charlie the Roofer? Man, I don't remember. But here I am, I'm in a little town in Iowa. Uh, that's my garden over there. And I'm cutting this grass. There's a lot of grass here. I cut this girl's grass, and in, in exchange for cutting her grass, I get to have a garden. Okay, I can't have a guard at my house. It's just, it's just not, well, I don't know. I'm just not ready for it. There's an apple tree. Uh, that's a pear tree. There's another pear tree back there, but it, it died. I'd take it back to Lowe's. Hey, there's a little commercial. I get my trees from Lowe's. And I get some of my other stuff from Home Depot. Don't want to forget them. Over there, oh, you can't see it too well. There's a, a, a berry bush, and I got to put an arbor behind that. Uh, now, let me explain this garden here. This isn't uh, a finished garden, okay? Uh, I certainly have had them in the past, but this isn't it. The way I'm making this garden is I'm putting the uh, grass clippings down, and year by year, I kill the grass and I plant vegetables. I don't have a tiller, so. In a way, this is sort of a third world method. It's kind of an experiment. Maybe somebody's did it before. Can you believe that? I don't think so. I think I thought of it. I bet they don't do it in Brazil or Africa. But anyway, that's that's the garden. And uh, I had one, in, I started it last year. It was very small. A lot of tomatoes. This is Iowa. You spit on this dirt and it'll grow something. As I was cutting this grass, there were thousands of little trees starting even. Uh, soft maple. There's a big soft maple tree across the street. And I've got some soft maples here. I took some as an experiment. And uh, I've gr I'm growing some at my house. Well, some of you saw that before. Uh, there's tomatoes. Strawberries, potatoes, onions. I'm trying to get some asparagus going and uh, also rhubarb. Now, so part of the idea behind this, hey, I'm gonna tell you my secrets. Uh, the, these are permanent plants. Oh, I'm sorry, raspberries back there. These are permanent plants. The raspberries, the strawberries, the rhubarb, the asparagus. Uh, they move this way. Whoops, did you see my hand? They move this way. And then uh, these other plants, like the onions, the tomatoes, will follow out this way. And uh, I also plant in progression. I plant three times if I can. And what do I mean by that? Well, I have three uh, sets of plants. Uh, when I do this, uh, I start them in my basement. I'll start them like, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks apart. And the idea is to plant early. If you can, uh, I know it's crazy, uh, and there's ways to do this, plant in May. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and then uh, April, and uh, middle of April is like the safe point, I guess. But we even had some frost in April. It snowed like crazy in North Dakota. It's you North Dakotans. 
but anyway uh, and then you plant you know like two or three weeks apart and that way uh, you might get what I call a bumper crop in the fall sometimes the fall lingers here in Iowa and we get more uh, and so we got to do it all you know in a, in a relatively short time uh, unlike some of you people that are watching this uh, in the Mideast uh, maybe some of you people in Indonesia Australia you, you have longer growing seasons but uh, we can only do this in the summer a little bit in the spring and fall but when we do do it here we get a lot that's Iowa baby there's not there's not a lot here in Iowa in a sense I mean we don't have mountains big lakes or oceans but man we got some serious serious plant life and and it's amazing it all dies and uh, we have this winter and the ice and the snow and good grief how can anything live like that and when the spring comes it all comes back and someone's gonna feed us these pear trees the apple trees some of this stuff will be coming up all the time oh I forgot excuse me I think it's the is the tuber family <laughs> or is that the Huber family light finger Louie uh, there's some uh, uh, squash different kinds of squash and some cucumbers down in there and yeah I know it looks ratty I haven't been here for a week but I'll get in there and I'll kill those weeds listen you weeds you're gonna die I mean I'm gonna chop you up choke you smash you and if you come back again I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna sharpen my hole you hear that oh they're starting to shake now kids hey well anyway there you go uh, American working man I gotta finish cutting that part of the grass and then uh, I'll probably screw around with the house on, on a computer. Maybe. Well, I fixed the toilet already, so. Let's see. Can't go out in the boat with Ron. It's going to storm. Check this out. Can you see that? I don't know. Maybe you can't. But it's going to storm. I'm going to get that, too. Seven minutes. I'm almost at eight minutes. Who wants to watch eight minutes of me? Whew. Not even my wife. There you go, kids. Whoops. Here, take another look at my garden while I turn the camera off.